Good evening, this is Donna with Magical Workings and I'm here to do a client reading for tomorrow. We are doing a connect with your spirit guide reading and tomorrow I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to do this reading for you. It gives me great pleasure to do this for you. Um, these are some of my favorite readings and I'm just going to shuffle the cards a few times here before we begin. Um, before I actually sat down I went into a meditative state and asked for your guides to join me as well as my own so that I may give you an accurate reading. And this is a six card reading that I'm doing for you here tonight and this is Saturday evening um, January 25th, 2014, and it is currently 9.51 p.m. The cards are not being cooperative tonight when it comes to shuffling, but we'll get there. Shuffle a couple more times. I think they'll, they'll be happy and cooperate. And tell you a little bit about myself. I've been reading tarot for over 20 years now. I start off reading for family and friends and for myself. And uh, I am an intuitive reader. Um, some would say psychic reader, but I like intuitive better. And I get my information from many different sources through um, clairvoyance. Clear audience, clear sentience, and um, sometimes you know it's just a gut feeling. Other times I hear it or or see it play out in like a movie in my head. And I think this is going to be the last time that we shuffle this one here. I'm just going to cut the deck for you. Now the first card is who is my spirit guide. Now during my meditations many times I get visions or um, things that come to me um, and, and during the meditation for you what I really felt I didn't see a face or a person but I feel that this was like a relative or someone very close to your family um, from earlier times. They, they like to to wear shawls or or like afghans and with fringe and these are the things that I'm picking up very a very motherly figure so um, the first card is going to represent your spirit guide and tell us a little more about um, who your guide is um, maybe give you some more information on what I'm seeing and I always read the cards right side up we don't read reverse meanings in this reading. Um, this card is obstacles and challenges. And what I'm being told is more of this, this person is here for you. Um, and, and has been kind of a guide to your whole family. Not, um, yeah, th this has been a guide to your whole family. And sh she's with you at this time as well. Um, it's very strong. Again, I, I'm picking up a relative or, or of yours from the past. And she's been with with your family to help each member out when when there are challenges and difficulties or, or, or problems, especially when they've come across a path, a broken path, or are unsure of where, where to head um, or where life's leading them, not sure where to take the next step. The next card is, why are you with me at this time? And the card that I've drawn here is Prosperity Begins and what I'm picking up is um, 
And then again, a name's coming to me that starts with an O. Otara? I, I'm, it's not real clear other than it starts with an O and there's like a T or a THE sound um, after the O. But um, the reason this, this guide is with you at this time is, is kind of to help you along to, to better yourself and to get a grasp on she's telling me that you deserve more in life and that you need to be open to this um, the beginnings of prosperity as the card says that, that to help you plant the seeds to make things grow um, things that are coming to mind are, are fruitful beginnings that and I feel that she's come into your life just recently especially um, I'm being told that there's been an issue or a problem maybe a family lost something that's really caused depression or, or brought you down in life something that just has made you feel complete complete despair and I'm really what I'm picking up or being told is some type of loss in your life um, the next question card three is what do you want me to know and this is information from your guide and this is a beautiful card this is light and she tells me that you've been in the darkness and that you need to to come out and stop hiding come into the light follow the light um, I'm also being told it, it, if you do this that the path is going to open up to you and um, new beginnings just better things lie ahead for you. You just need to be open and don't be afraid to to step into the light. Um, I, again with this card I'm I'm also being told <sighs> stop hiding inside so much that, that to actually go outside and bask in the sun literally not not just figuratively speaking but spend more time outdoors and in nature um, and, and soak up those rays that, that this is going to help lift your spirit card four is what is the best way to connect with you card four is truth and what I get from this card is, first of all, you need to be honest with yourself. Um, be honest and open and be willing to, to listen. That um, your guides will speak to you, but you need to be on, honest with yourself, especially if you have any psychic gifts yourself that um, you need to embrace this and that your um, guides will come through your, your own your intuition and your senses and they will bring you the truth um, in the light of matters um, to help you out with any questions that you have they won't lead you astray but um, most importantly you need to be be honest so what I'm picking up here is, is that they're gonna especially this guide here she's like that subtle voice that speaks to you that nagging in the back of your head and she'll come through to you through your intuition and you'll know the truth as she speaks card number five is your own personal question and you've asked did I miss an opportunity um, that I should have jumped on or 
I'm sorry, I'm, I have this one written down. Um, and you want to know if there'll be other chances to, for that, for things to be fulfilled and for you to feel completely happy. Um, so this is card five, and this will be answers to your questions. And this is just a wonderful card, and this is victory and success. So what I pick up here is absolutely that there are going to be more opportunities ahead of you and you will succeed um, in finding happiness and being content that my your my guides actually are telling me this that um, there was an opportunity that you missed but in the scheme of things it's minute that if you just open yourself up again and just listen and be aware that opportunities are going to come knocking in the words they're telling me are in the plenty um, so, so there are going to be many opportunities and what I f I'm feeling and what I'm getting here is that you'll have your choice it's not just going to be one path that, that there will be a choice and also um, your your guide she's going to be here with you as when you need her to help make those choices but no matter what choice you make um, especially once you step into that light and, and you come out and just embrace the good in life and see and see things for what they are but um, your awareness is going to open up and you will you will be aware of these opportunities coming to you so that you can take advantage of them um, but no matter what you choose you will be successful um, as long as you you don't sit back and and do nothing as long as you take advantage of of these opportunities that you can't fail here. Card number six is your outcome, um, the overview of your whole reading, and just any ad additional information that your guide wishes you to to hear. And the card that I've pulled for this is moving on. And uh, I'm being told that you need to leave the past behind you. That your future is bright and the future is what matters you, you need to move forward um, move into this light and just embrace the good things in life happiness away to um, you just again the opportunities the, this thing it just keeps repeating in my in my mind to tell you to be open open yourself up um, and I'm really feeling more intuitively that you need to to open yourself up and, and not hide your own gifts um, I, I feel that possibly even um, past that members in your family have had intuitive gifts or psychic abilities and, and this is a trait that that's been passed on and you need to embrace that um, but you need to move forward, move into the light, leave the past behind. Um, your your guide, she's telling me that as you as you walk through the sun, and, and these her these are her words. So I, what I'm seeing is out for a, a stroll through through the daylight. She's she's telling me as you walk through the sun that you will find love and and she's also love and peace what I'm also feeling here that, that this is a meaning of self-love as well as finding a partner or someone else to share that love with that, that this really means to, to move forward and you're going to find peace within and love within yourself. 
Um, and this is going to help you along on your path. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at any time. I'm happy to try to clarify any of this reading for you. Um, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. I'm just getting a, a lot of flashes of things and I, I'm seeing a walkway just, just to let you know. A walkway with an arbor of trees, like the trees are touching and the rays of sun are shining through and you're you're looking up and it's just this overwhelming feeling of peace, happiness, and self-contentment. So I really think that you're going to find that. And again, thank you and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Please uh, contact me if you have any questions. Many blessings. Bye-bye.